hello guys welcome or welcome back to this channel and today we are going to look into the beautiful lady mortician who dressed Branchera's body before his burial we will check out how, how she started to be a mortician what all who motivated her dating life and challenges she faces as a mortician so guys Anjoki Mwangagi, who was the mortician who dressed our fallen TikToker Brian Chira is a lady who works at Pope Benedict Funeral Home in Nyahururu. She said that her journey was inspired back in 2012, where her mother's death is what fueled her career. Since, after viewing her mother's body and seeing how well she was kept and looked gorgeous, she decided that this is what she wants to do so that she can be able to help those left by their loved ones and give them the best experience of saying goodbye. Since she believed that not everyone was given the same treatment, in a viral TikTok video, Anne Mwangagi said that she was told that some morticians mishandled their loved ones, which blocked her heart and she wanted to change the narrative of what people thought about morticians. Just a few days ago, and the mortician amazed netizens with her skill when she dressed Brian Chira and all those that viewed his remains had a positive things to say about her. Since they revealed that Chira was well cleaned and well handled. Through a video that was posted by Baba T, he revealed that An Wangagi was the one who handled the foreign TikToker. Speaking of Baba Talisha, there has been rumors that both Babati and Anmuangangi were dating. Through a video that he posted on TikTok, it was seen both parties spending Valentine together, where he surprised her with a dinner date, and they have been seen doing some content together. Though Babati and Anmuangangi have not yet agreed that they are dating or not, netizens tend to believe that they are good match, since they are both hardworking and responsible pharaohs. About what keeps her together after working as a mortician for over six years, she revealed that it's God's grace kept her mental stable. It's not experience that enabled her to sober through this challenging experience, but ni God too. To work as a mortuary worker, it takes God's grace. So guys, that will be all for today's video. Tell us what you think about those who work in mortuaries. Do you have the same experience or is Anne's experience different? Tell us what you think on the comment section. Thank you for watching. Like, share, turn on the notification bell. And more importantly, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Until the next to Hondo. Bye.